Welcome to another of UO Home Decor's guides on decorating your home. This guide is going to be how to create a fire pit fireplace. Um, this fireplace is normally created in the northwest corner of your home. It can be put in other corners. You just have to open up your transparency more to be able to do it, but it won't look quite as good, I don't think, as it does in the northeast corner because of how Ultima Online's layout is. Uh, the things you're going to need for this one is an interior decorator tool, which is true for almost all of our guides. 14 bucklers. Those are these little round things here. You can have them whatever color you want to match your decor of your home or plain. I went with plain because it was cheap and I didn't waste any of the ingots I had on hand. Um, I went with 100 black, 100 black cloth. I normally carry a lot of black cloth on me for decorating either way. And some white cloth for the highlights that I do in the, in the, uh, decoration which you'll see when it's done um, you can make it you can make the white cloth any color you want you can really do the black color any color you want if you want to make it more gray or something else to make it more you know stone looking you sure can um, then I use two candles you can use something else if you want um, items for decorating the mantle in my case I use the globe and the um, model of the HMS cape and one fire pit deed the areas that I will be decorating in are these nine spaces here. Um, I'm not going to be decorating the full nine spaces. Normally it'll just be this little area here plus this square here. Um, you're welcome to add anything you want to this area. Normally I add um, carpet pieces or couches or sofas or stuff like that. Whatever will make the area look comfy and like a little cozy home area. So to start, um, I place cloth down for, oh wait, no. I don't place cloth down first. That would be the opposite thing of what I normally do. I place the items down first and raise them all the way up to the top. Yep, even decorators make mistakes when they're making guides. So place all the items that you want down, lock them down, and then you will be raising them up all the way to the top as far as they can go. Hey, that wasn't supposed to go there. And see, you get the message once it's all as raised as far as it will go that you cannot raise it any higher. So you can move on to the next area. As you may tell, um, I live on the beach of Vesper Beach on Origin Shard. And the sounds you hear are ships that are out in the ocean near, the, near my house, as well as the waves and stuff washing up and animals and stuff. I really like Ultima Online's uh, ambient sounds because it really immerses you in the game especially if you have stereo sound or headphones on like I do right now so all you hear is the creepy noises sometimes if you have it turned down low and you forgot you have your speakers on um, but it's really kind of neat just the general music the general sounds um, if I wandered into one of the cities right now you'd hear the sound music for each city which is very beautifully done probably some of the best music in games um, okay well I'm almost done so I'll quit um, rambling here. I know most people like to hear people talk in videos and I'm not really used to doing that because I don't talk much about myself or about what I'm doing. But now that I'm almost done raising every item up, I can move on to the next steps in the guide. So now, after everything's raised up, you place your first two pieces of cloth down. And then you place another two pieces of cloth on top of that just kind of set to where you stack it to where it'll fall on top of the other stack like that. Every so often when you're placing the cloth it will combine with the other stacks. It happens. Don't worry about it. Don't get upset with yourself. It happens to me all the time. So now we have two stacks of two cloth. We add the bucklers. Make sure you lock everything down as you go because otherwise you'll forget and it'll decay and then your fireplace will look kind of funky. And you do seven bucklers. So that's number three, oops, four, five, six, and seven. 
And if you notice, I try to drop it like right on that center of the line there of the tile. That would that's what makes it pops up onto the tile. Now you do another two black cloth, and you try to target it once again to go up there. Well, see, and that one combined with the bottom one. Oops. There we go. And then you do two white cloth, which won't combine with the others. It'll just... There we go. And then you'll do two more stacks of two black cloth. So this is stack number one. And stack number two. There, you're done with your first tile. Now for the next area, I just combine, I put everything down and then raise up what I need. So you'll do three sets of black cloth first. one white or two sets two two white you know one stack of two white and then two more stacks of two black and sometimes it just doesn't want to work with you even for an experienced decorator, sometimes your hand just doesn't get it just right to make it go on top. And there we go. And sometimes I will raise it up at the same time. Other times I'll wait until I get all the lines done. And this time I think I'm just going to wait until I have the whole line done before I start raising it up. So you do another three sets of two cloth each. And I have to move a little bit further forward because otherwise it's not going to stack right. And you may ask, why am I using two cloth per stack? It's because it won't look right otherwise. It'll look kind of funky, and it won't blend together right to make the right color, to make it look solid black. Um, it's just the way the art is designed to where it won't look solid black. Or solid white if I were to do a whole white one or something like that. So yeah, I combined that one a few times there. And there we go. Now, I normally back away so I can see the full line. And then I will raise up the columns to where I need them to go. So you have to do these one at a time, unfortunately. But it's not too bad. That looks like it's lined up. And the black one is not quite right, so you raise it up one more. Whoops. And what's nice about the cloth is you can lower it if lower it if you need to. Or raise it. And I think I missed raising one of the blacks. There we go. So if you don't raise it quite right, it will show up through the uh, stuff and then it will look kind of funky. So keep raising it until you can't see the white cloth through anymore is what is the best advice I can give for it.
And now they're all even. So now you do your third one. Nope, and that one went too high because it covered up the uh, the crystal. So you push it down one, and then you just raise your other ones up. And sometimes you will accidentally raise or lower something you're not supposed to. You can just undo it with your tool and correct it like I just did there. And now that whole side is done and we have the last two sides to finish up. Now this side will be done slightly different just because of how it's laid out. Um, I generally go ahead and raise everything up right away once I'm done laying stuff down. Um, alternatively, instead of trying to stack things on top of each other like I'm doing here, you can just raise stuff up on your own and go ahead and just raise it up to the top where you want it to be and do that with each piece as you lock it down. Um, for me, I think that's just a waste of time because you have to lock it down either way and then raise up, raise or lower it, so less raising or lowering if I just stack it all at first. So once again, I step away from it so I can see the lines better on the wall, so I can match up the lines of the flat of the cloth with the other cloth that's up here. And that looks about right. Now in theory, if you want to save on lockdowns, you don't really need the white cloth and the black cloth on the um, on the back corner one. All you need is two black cloth raised up and two black cloth on the bottom to give it the effect you need. Um, I tend to just go ahead and do the whole thing because it's not a whole lot of lockdowns anyhow. And I have a lot of lockdowns to spare most of my houses. Now if you don't want to use bucklers, you can use all sorts of other things here, like stone, vases, um, larger shields if you want something else. Um, people have used chairs and turned the chairs in different directions to make it look different. Or the uh, the wooden chests like these over here, the cherry armoires, you could use one of them to make your stack to where it looks like a wooden fireplace instead. You have all sorts of options. You can also use gozas, and you just use the same amount of gozas as stacks of cloth. Um, you know, one goza per two stacks of cloth, and then raise it to where it looks correct, and go from there. I may do a guide with that later, um, but that is an option if you're looking to totally eliminate a lot of uh, lockdowns. And then you're going to want to raise these one time each to match the level of the other item there. As we had raised this one over here one time each. And then we go to the final part. This part you will only do two black, one, 
two white, well, one white with two cloth on it, and then two more stacks of black, and then raise it up to match the level of the others. And I think that will do it. You'll I'll know for sure once it's all lined up if it looks right or not. And if not, then I can raise it all up one more time. And if it is right, then I don't have to worry about it. But I think I'm almost positive that I've got it right. And now that part is done, and now it's time for the final part, which is your fire pit. You place the fire pit right on the, your cursor right in the center of the tile, where, right where I'm showing it, to make it place correctly. And there you go. You have a perfect little fireplace with a fire pit, and you can place in tables here and couches here and a nice little, um, you know, carpet pieces here or a rug here or something to make it look like a homey little decorative interior. Um, you can also extend this to make it bigger. You can move this over one tile and just make it, you know, a bigger fireplace if you want. Um, you can also do a square one, like three tiles wide here, maybe four tiles wide along the side, where you have your fire pit in the center and four, you know, your pillars on the side. Um, good luck, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks!